Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and I am from Riva Chic. Today's video, I'm going to show you a simple way of blending colors together. So if you've got a piece of furniture or maybe a piece of home decor that you're working on and you want to kind of blend a few colors together, this is the video for you. So what are we waiting for? Let's go start. begin uh, with this project on how we can layer um, different colors of paints. I want to begin with what I did here and what supplies are we going to be using. So for my main color, I have mixed a few colors together to get this type of darker like grayish. It's got a little purple tone to it. I love it. And what I did to make my own color here is I mixed Blackberry House Paint Cast Iron Skillet. Then I took a little bit of Blackberry House Paint Warm Milk. And I also added just a little bit of Blackberry House uh, Paint. It's called a kissy face. Um, so it's like a, like a little lightish pinkish color is what I used there uh, to create that. Now, if you like today's products that I'm using, um, I will list it in the, in the description with a coupon code uh, when you go on to their website. Okay, so I, I have here a paper towel just in case I need it, uh, maybe to, you know, take some of the uh, paint out if I have too much paint on my brush or whatsoever. I also have a tray just in case I need it, but I'm going to try to uh, put my brush in here um, and paint it from here, okay? So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Let me just put this down. So we're going to pretend that this is a piece of furniture. Whoops, I got a little bit of paint there. Um, I'm going to pretend that this is a drawer that goes onto my, say, my dresser, a small dresser. And the whole dresser um, was obviously painted in this color, which is called Hot Cocoa, again by Blackberry House Paint. So this is a hot cocoa. Let me just show you if you can see what it looks like inside. It's really pretty. It's like a light gray with a creamy color, a little bit of, I don't know, taupe or like, like tan. I, I can't explain it, but it comes out like more like a grayish color, like a really light. It's really pretty. So... Um, let's pretend that I painted my whole little side table with this color uh, of the hot cocoa. Again, this is not chalk paint. This is not a mineral paint. This is straight acrylic paint and it's made for furniture and it works great for blending and layering different kind of colors on it. Okay. So which you're going to see in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my darker color that I created and I am going to start working on all of the edges. And then we're going to kind of leave this area blank because we're going to be using the a color, the warm milk uh, to add to. So we can take the warm milk and this color um, and we're going to blend those together. Now, keep in mind when you're blending different colors, make sure that you choose the right colors to blend uh, because don't forget that if you're using light colors, you know, they just might be the same, you know, kind of pastel -y, pastel look. You want to make sure that you have some sort of dark color to mix with the lighter color. And some colors don't good, go well together when you're mixing it. So what I would do is test it on a board, like even this. This is a board uh, that, I'm, that I'm testing this on with you folks or showing you. Maybe take this board and test all your paint colors and what goes with what. Getting used to, you know, the different uh, color choices that you can use. But this goes with practice. The more you paint and the more you paint furniture and different, obviously, on different projects, you're going to get used to what paint works with what. So that is either you practice on a board or it just takes time with practice. Okay. So um, you're going to also need three brushes, one for each color. 
Okay, so we're going to be doing two colors, the one that I created and the warm milk, as I mentioned, okay? Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why does she have aluminum foil? Well, this is a little trick. I am getting tired of when I go to the store and get those pour covers, you know, so it could easy pour it so you don't get paint on the sides. Well, none of them really work for me. I haven't found anything that I really like, and I'm constantly tossing, I was tossing them out. So what I do is I just buy myself a roll of aluminum foil. I put this over, um, you know, the edges where I'm going to, you know, pour. That way I do not get the paint into my can here where it gets hard to close. Now, sometimes I make a little mistakes because I, I'll be honest, I can rush sometimes on some things. I get excited, so I forget to put it, but not so bad. You can just clean that with a warm water, you know, damp cloth or whatever, and just wipe it. But I'll show you later when I pick this up. Um, and I also used it on, actually, I'll show you right now. So this black one, uh, when I use cast on your skillet, I use the aluminum foil. So now that I'm done with it, all I got to do is pick it up. And look at that no paint and it's on here and then you kind of just toss this away so i'm just going to put this on the side right now but that's that all right so i'm gonna need like i said we're gonna use a a brush for each color uh so both colors are going to have one and then we're going to have a third brush and that's just going to be dry and that's going to be more for uh blending you're also going to need a water bottle um i couldn't find my mister uh, misting uh, water bottle, but I'm going to use this. Okay, so we're going to need a, a water bottle. All right, so we are going to start with our Lucy Creation paint. I don't know. I'm gonna, Let's call it Lucy Gray. And I'm going to save this for later for another project. I really like this color. I might even use it on a canvas. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start on the corner. It doesn't matter how you paint this. You can go up and down like this uh, because all of these colors are going to, like I said, they're going to be blended together. So depending on where I want to stop, we're going to pretend that that is the uh, hole for your pool. And this is a drawer, so I kind of know where I want to stop at. So we got that corner. Okay, let's do a little more there, because again, we're going to use our warm milk for that middle right there. All right, so since this is a small little piece and it's not a big piece of furniture where, you know, it would take obviously more paint, I'm going to dry this up, up a little bit on my paper towel because I don't need that much paint. And now we're going to dilute this a little bit. And that's where the spray sprayer comes in. So we're going to go ahead and spray this. And then take that same brush that you were using for the gray. And then all we're going to do is kind of dilute it. You might not, you might see it as a solid color on the camera there, but it's really not. And get that all the way across, just like that. Okay, so we're going to put this one down, and now we're going to get our another brush. Let me just get this corner here. I mean, this can all get fixed later. Our next brush with our white that we're using. So I'm going to dip this in there one time. If you're going to dip it again, make sure you put it on a, you know, a painter's tray or something, but I'm not going to need a lot of this. So we're going to take our cream color and then we're kind of going to work it right here like that. Now I'm going to take my spray bottle again. I'm going to mist it up a little bit here. And then now I'm going to take my, my dry brush. So there's no paint or nothing on here and just work it. So I'm really focused on this middle right here because we can put more of the gray dark one here. So a little more of the white here. 
Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush that I use for the dark color. And since we have a little paint on this thing here, we can utilize it so that I'm not going in to get more paint. But it looks like I might need some. So I'm going to put it on the paper towel real quick. And you, if you spray the water, you've got to really work it fast with the water because you don't want it to dry out and also leaving you watermarks. Another thing I like to use besides water, which I don't have any right now, but clear glaze. Clear glaze, I love when I'm blending colors. It is much easier. So now I'm going to take the white one again and just put a little more right there. And then I'm going to take my dry one. And kind of blend it all kind of together. This one needs a little bit more water. So I'm just going to spray just a little bit right there. And you keep on going on to what you want to achieve. You know, what kind of look are you looking for for this piece so what I'm just showing you like I said it's not as easy like on a piece of furniture here and I'm sitting down here but just wanted to show you how you blend these colors kind of together and you just keep on working it for a minute there still continue to work it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that uh, darker gray that we created here and just put a little more on the side here. Now I'm just showing you, this could be easier on furniture or it could be harder. So it really depends how you're layering. And of course on this board, it is not as easy, but I hope that you can see the difference in how the dark is on the sides and then this just kind of like blends in with the darker gray so again you just take your dry brush and you keep working now don't put too much water on it because you don't want that to happen either so you keep on working on what on what um uh, look that you're looking, you know, wanting to achieve. Do you want a little more of the lighter color going into the sides? All you got to do is just add more to it. But usually when you're doing furniture like this and with the effects that, you know, you have a blend, uh, people normally kind of do like the kind of the middle um, because that's going to make your furniture piece really pop out. So it's all about that middle right here. Uh, again, but you could add more to your piece. Maybe you've seen some videos, oh, they're so quick. No, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not quick because it's not your one time blend and then, oh, I'm done. Because you kind of have to look at it when it's dry and how it's looking for you. And here I have to tilt it up a little bit because I need to see on my side here. And this doesn't have to be perfect on where it goes. But as long as you're seeing your colors blending in together, I just love this. This will look great on a piece that, you know, a piece of furniture you're working on. And let me just show you what I'm going to put a little um, pool on here like a fake just a fake pool so that, that way you can see it like you know it's obviously it looks like a drawer you know so I found this uh, little guy here just a fake uh, little topper for uh, this is um, a porcelain uh, knob um, so I'm, I'm gonna lay it on here it's not fully dry yet but it's it's getting there I mean this is you know just doing a practice here so look how pretty that is and here too, you can, you know, a lot of folks put like rice paper on their decoupage it and then do whatever designs they want on it. And then you can do the same thing when you're doing that. You can incorporate the colors of your rice paper and do your blends so that it blends well um, with your paint here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for a little bit and then we're going to come back and take a look on what it looks like when it's dry. So our board is dry and doesn't that look so cool with the darks on the side and that you got your lights and what you can also do is incorporate dark up here if you want it and as well as here. But again, this is on a board so the board's going to look a little different than on your furniture piece. And then now we have our little fake little drawer uh, pool and let's put it, I don't know, right there. And this can also help you as a guide. So wherever this is going, you kind of want to know how you want it. Maybe you wanted, you know, just to look a circle look, you know. So same thing, you're going to be blending them. Take your time on when you are blending colors because you might change your mind. I might look at this and say, you know what, I want a little more light. But this is just a shadow. So I look at this as a shadow look because obviously it turn, you know, it comes from light and then it goes straight kind of to dark. You can also darken this, make this more lighter. But again, it's going to take playing, playing with your paint colors, playing how you want, you know, want to design it. And yes, yeah, sorry about this. I did get a little extra paint. It's a good idea to, you know, wear gloves if you're painting. Um, but this is what layering and blending everybody calls it different um so layering colors people you can use layering colors uh, as well but this is more of blending it's blending colors together you can do multiple colors we did a two-tone color to create this design you can add a third color into it and when you do that so say that we want another color over here. I don't know, maybe you want to do a brown or so. You add a little bit, you know, mist your water and blend it in. You know, just make sure you blend it. Or maybe you just want browns on the side to give it more little definition. But take your time and um, go slow. And again, if it doesn't look right the first time, it's easy to fix. Because all you got to do, again, is just mist a little water. Don't forget, I will also be putting the paint colors and the website to go to if you like these colors today by Blackberry House Paint. Again, it is an acrylic based paint, very easy to use. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's very, I call it silky soft. Uh, make sure that you go to their website and make sure that you grab that uh, coupon code uh, before you head that way too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, I will put the uh, paint company and the uh, coupon code in the description below. But if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It is free. And then hit the notification bell so that every time I do post a new video, you will be notified. All right. Till next time. Bye bye.